So this is my garden. Again, this is Jill from Batty Bloomers. And it is now August 6th, I think. Um, so I just wanted to show how even in a little space of time, things have changed. Um, if you remember right here at the porch, were lots of sunflowers and I finally took them out and I kept the heads that had seeds on them still. Sorry. Um, for the birdies. So they're gone now and looks a bit bare and it's really dry. We need rain. But you can see the black eyed Susans are still looking beautiful. They're a really good perennial. Um, and I did not plant any of these that you see here. They seeded themselves and they look quite beautiful. Um, they have, they're behind my roses on the one side and not on the other, so I'm thinking I might try to get some to the other side so it looks a little more even, but it looks really pretty. And then we have the middle garden here. Which kind of looks the same as before, probably. Uh, I don't think we showed you the little tiny pond I have in here. It's not really even a pond. It's a pot with water and f water flowers in it. And water plants. And there's a little frog that lives in it. And some fish to keep the mosquito larvae out. And there's my little bunny. And in the background there you can see my husband's prize, which is a camper, camper down elm. Which I believe all of the camper down elms come from one tree in Scotland. And they're very hard to come by. I'm not even sure where he got his. Here's my little pond. I don't see the froggy right now. Or hear him. A lot of times you hear him, but don't see him. And then my secret garden, which is not a secret yet, but still working on that, is probably changed from the last time I had it on here. Because things change week by week in gardens.